Today, we are going to discuss some aspects relating to accounting. As we know, accounting is an important thing in our daily life. Why it is, in, why it is important? Because in our daily life, some activities relating to monetary aspects. So, to acquire knowledge about accounting definitely helps some discipline. So, it, it definitely brings some discipline in our daily life. Let me enter into subject accounting. American Institute of Certified Public Accounts defines accounting like this. Accounting is an art of recording classifying and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money, transactions and events which are in part at least of a financial character and interpreting the results thereof. So from the definition, you can clearly state or we can clearly understand that it is an art of recording from the definition itself we can clearly understand that accounting is directly related to recording recording means for example 50 transactions are there today 50 transactions are there in a business firm so, all these 50 transactions are clearly recording firstly. Then, second one, classifying. Then, all the recorded transactions are classified in a similar manner. Then, some similarity are there. All the similar transactions are classified into similar groups. Then, next one summarizing these transactions are summarized in a significant manner why the word significant because some chronological order or required manner will be used to summarizing the transactions then next one in terms of money that is an important thing all all the monetary transactions are some recorded, classified and summarized. All, not only transactions, events which are at part at least of financial character. That should be an, another important thing. It must be a financial character and interpreting the result thereof. Then from the definition it can be clearly states some functions from the functions we can clearly understand what is accounting then first one systematic records why how we understand it is systematically recorded because all the transactions are evidenced by a voucher or other supporting documents so systematic records then all the transactions having some rules for recording so by following rules by supported by the evidence we can systematically record the transactions in front of us then second one to ascertain the net results then what is the results how we can ascertain the results then net results means whether profit or loss definitely all the business are running to earn profit where they are not interested in loss so to ascertain the net, net result that means whether they are running successfully or not that means profit or loss then third one to ascertain the financial position then how we ascertain the financial position from the net results from the net results that means the results are either profit 
or loss. Then if the results relates to profit, that means that particular firm running successfully, then their financial position is good. Otherwise, it is bad. Then next one, communication. Then these results are communicated to the board of directors, communicated to the uh, users, then communicated to the all the beneficiaries of the business. Then next one, protecting properties, protecting properties of the business. Then how we protect? Then protection relates to systematic application of the rules of records. All the transactions are recorded systematically. It must be supported by the voucher or it must be evidenced by the clear supporting evidence. So, in such a manner, all the records systematically recorded, then it directly relates the protection of the properties of business. Then last one, legal requirements. Then if the all the records are clearly maintained, uh, for example, if the particular organization requires loan from the financial institutions or from a commercial bank or anywhere. So, the first thing they must be asked the accounts of the particular firm. Then if it is maintained clearly, then if it is maintained as per the legal requirements, their getting loans from the particular institutions is more easy. So legal requirement is another important functions of accounting. Then from the accounting, then different branches are there. Then when we state the branches of accounting, accounting has three branches. Then first one financial accounting, second one cost accounting, then third one management accounting. All these three branches are very important uh, to a business organization. From these three branches, the first one is financial accounting. Now, in our next class, we are deeply discussing the branch of financial accounting. Okay, thank you.